because of the nature of the jump. Sick! Oh, I can barely slow down. Whoa! <laughs> Welcome back to the channel guys. For today's video, I'm taking you to Harper Mountain here in Kamloops, BC. We left Squamish a couple of days ago to escape the bad weather. We had a beautiful drive and we made our way yesterday to the bike ranch. I actually posted a video on my road channel. It was really good time on my downhill bike. I put some flat pedals on for the first time in a while. And now it's time to ride the trail bike. I took my propane tie. We're gonna make it to the top of the mountain. All those trails are on trail forks. We've chosen a local favorite. Let's go and ride. Today I'm gonna be riding with a French liner. You've seen him on some of my videos before. We made it to the top of Harper Mountain. There's actually a little ski resort in this direction and it's family on. It looks super cool. And this is the zone on Trail Forks. So we're gonna start with Unicorn DH. Then we're gonna make our way to Pimpernot Upper. Back onto Unicorn DH and we'll finish by another black trail around here to get back to the car. It's gonna be super sweet. Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. Unicorn DH, single black diamond trail, it's on trail fox, check it out. Nice. Yeah, buddy. Oh, the third corner. Pimpernut! This way! <laughs> oh, he flowed so well, huh? Yeah, it's really fun. Really oh. fast, some good corners. Oh. Dirt is pretty good, but the rocks on top, they look very slippery. Oh, slippery. Uh, drop sign, steep section ahead. Let's go check it out. Oh. <laughs> My feet got caught on a rock. Oh, here we go. Okay. That's, that's pretty... Yeah, Looks worse from a head there. Yeah, nice little drop to start yeah, the trail. Yeah. Okay, actually my first time I ride Hyper Mountain and I love riding trails blind. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, thank you, Alex! <laughs> oh, wow! Surprise jump! Is that like a hip? That's a big one. Sick. <laughs> With that gap out of the corner, it's tricky. I had to repull and I was still a little. Yeah, you have, to, you have to carry so much speed coming into it. Nice little surprise. Okay, let's try it again and I'm gonna hit that, uh, that hip jump. Okay, first attempt on the hip. Nice! It's actually really smooth. Yeah, it looks good, man. I was, good. I was pretty nervous because I don't often do like hips like this. No. Especially this side, it's pretty blind. But if you clean the jump before, mm -hmm. You carry good speed, you can really set up nicely for it. Okay. Sweet. Is it the corner? Go straight. And aim straight. Yeah, basically. <laughs> that's a big one. That's very like sharp lip, huh? Yeah, I know, it's like almost a dirt jump lip. <laughs> Alex, first attempt. <laughs> nice, buddy. It's pretty hard to get the speed for it, actually. But I felt actually better than I thought. I didn't know what to expect, or it's so lippy. And it's my wrong side. It kind of went well, despite the little case. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's actually really well built. Hey, as I was going back up there, I noticed a big drop over there. Did you see it? No. Should we? Oh yeah, of course. All right. Wow. Okay, so that's actually the big drop. Someone told me about it, and I thought it was this one we just did before. Okay, now that makes sense. Woo. 
Okay. It's actually pretty big, huh? Nice uh, steep entrance into it. This is a put concrete, so that way it's not gonna erode. And also I assume the rocks are like pretty sharp, yeah. so that would be difficult to have like a nice smooth yeah. uh, takeoff. Looks like there might be a bit of an impact, huh? Yeah, it looks a bit flat. <laughs> well, I'll go first to test out. Alright, let's see. Okay, first attempt on the drop. Oh, it's all good. It's really smooth. Yeah. Nice, buddy. Let's do it. Yeah, remember to go really fast onto that hip. Huh? You have to go really fast to clear it. Okay, I'll All follow right. you. So I'm gonna follow Alex onto the drop, then the hip. I'm gonna leave a bit of space, especially for the hip because of the nature of the jump. Yeah, buddy. Oh, it's so fun here. Yeah, buddy. It's open! And now onto the 50 footer. <laughs> Dude, imagine that this is a double black sanction trail. That would be pro line in a lot of areas, huh? This in the Whistler bike park would be a pro line for sure. Yeah. I think it's techier than anything you can find in Whistler. Yeah, the landing is shorter. I mean, it looks amazingly well built, it but is. still, it's high consequences. So it looks like there is a jump line and this is the first big jump. It's like 50 feet long, so it's really big. And then you got like a smaller one onto what looks to be another double. Let's go check it out. So we've got the 50 footer and this one, it's actually a rod gap and it's still like 40 feet long. So following that jump line, we've got a triple into a right hand corner and you got to carry a ton of speed, open your line and stay a little bit inside and it's a huge step up. It's actually really big. Okay, Remy, full speed. How did I mess up that? Oh, you went deep. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm just like, not used to ride with a full face helmet on a trail bike. And kind of breaks my speed. I'm riding with a, a windproof jacket. So I didn't actually feel how fast I was going. That was fun. Uh, I mean, you came in like, pedaling into it. Yeah, I know. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> yeah, what? Wow. Let's go again. To be honest, on a legal sanctioned trail, they will not have made a jump that are too clear. So I should have taken that in consideration and go a bit smaller. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna start from the hip. I'm not gonna go as fast. Just made a step up. I could feel my front tire flexing into that corner. I'm not riding the edge casing and I'm a bit low pressure to go that fast on a trail. Drop! Oh yeah, love riding my bike. Huge shot out the trail builder because making such big jumps that well built is really hard. How was that? Not too bad. When nice, I say I could do it probably better with another try. We got a good feel for it. Definitely have to go really fast, 
break a bit for that second road gap. But yeah, no, I love this. Woo. That was perfect. You have to open your corner a lot so you can see the line. And then once you set up, you can adjust a little bit your, uh, your line. Whereas if you come a bit too much inside, then you can't really make adjustment to set up for that big step up. Okay, I'm gonna follow Alex down those three jumps and then to the step up that he hasn't done yet. So remember, you jump the triple, you stay outside, you look really far ahead. And then the end of the corner, just yeah. before the takeoff, doesn't have much support. Yeah. So what I do is that I put my outside feet, yeah. which is the left one in this case, so I can really get the tire to grip. And also there's so much G-forces, you don't want to sharp. No. You want to really carry good speed, yeah. so that way you can make the, the step up. Okay, let's try it. Follow you, buddy. Woo, 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 woo. Let's go! Yeah, buddy! Look at this! That was awesome! So fun. <laughs> so good. Man, the step good up job. went way better than I ever expected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's check out Trail Forks because there's good. quite a few transitions. Yeah. So according to Trail Forks, we are on Pimpernaut. We walked a little bit this way and that actually get us to the access road which must be a little line off the map so we're gonna stick to Pimpernut Upper on the right. If you guys are enjoying that video make sure you subscribe, like it and leave us a comment below and also an easy way to support me is simply to check out the link in the description. When you purchase on Jensen USA and you can purchase basically any of the products I'm riding that supports my channel a lot so thank you so much for that. That's right. Okay, a little jump to start. Nice corner. Yeah. Whoa. Seems like it used to be a jump. Hard to get those trails. Them. Wow, those are like double Belgian double. doubles. Yeah. Sick. Woo. So we've got a really nice set of three super cool doubles. It's not often you see stuff like that on trails. No, it's like they're jumping. Yeah. Okay, first attempt on the three doubles. Nice. Oh, so cool. Yeah, it did. I went well, really then. slow on the first one. Yeah. So you better going a bit faster than I did. Yeah. And push. And the third one, I had to show a little pedal. Yeah, I saw you need a lot of speed. Huh? Yeah, you don't want obviously to overshoot no. the first one though. No. So if you go fast enough, you can just go super Two. smooth on it. This is one of the best exercises of mountain biking, is to learn how to carry speed with the mm -hmm. terrain. On those jumps, the way I do it is that I look ahead, and I try to land front wheel first, and when my rear wheel touches the ground, I make myself as heavy as I can in the compression, just to carry speed, and then I do the opposite movement on the way up to the next jump. I basically push in the compression, extend, so I can carry good speed. Yeah, proper exercise. You turn. Let's go. Alex, first attempt. You know fast. Yeah, you went, you went quite big. <laughs> Alex, second attempt. Yeah! Let's go, dude. Follow you. Yeah, boy. Whoa! 
Whoa. I'm the one that went big. I was following you on the wind draft. I was catching up and I, I really overshoot the first one. We still made it. Yeah, that's sick. Okay, on our way back to Unicorn the Edge. Slippery. Such a nice trail. That is so fun, dude. How good was that? It's so well built. Oh. And the dirt is so different from Squamish. It's different in a different way, but just so good. No, okay. sorry, different in a different way. Doesn't make much sense. <laughs> yeah, All we good. really able to trust the trail. Not, not knowing it, you could see ahead. You can see when it's shiny, you know it's gonna be slippery. Wow. <laughs> I didn't see that little uh, rock. Ah, oh, so fun. Okay, we're gonna make our way to the Nyar Wall. So according to Trail Fox, it's quite steep, so let's see. On the right. Ha. Sick. Wow. I think it's right there, buddy. This way? I think so. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, so sick. So many lines. Yes. Mom, 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 mom. Let's do that. I think it's the last part. Yeah. I can see the lake. Wow, it's actually quite slippery here. Ooh. Yeah. Dude, it is so fun. So good. We enjoy it. Oh, I can barely slow down. 
Whoa! <laughs> that was good. I was trying to see where I was going. You guys, definitely be a bit more careful now. Oh. That was incredible. Oh my god, dude. Well, that was sick. Harper, we'll be back. Yeah, I was not disappointed. Oh my goodness. This was like... Dude. I've been in Canada for 8 years now. And the first time I come here. Man, this felt oh. like uh, riding Val now in Andorra. Yeah. Just sliding down. It's quite slippery, yeah? It is. It's a bit wet. Yeah, you got to be careful with your front brake. Just not too much, because easy to, uh, to lose the traction. So fun. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try to go and uh, get another lap somewhere. That's good. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching that video. That was not even 10% of Harper Mountain. We had a blast. Can't wait to get back there next year. Big shout out to Tourism Kamloops. They helped us out with a stay. And as always, if you want to support that channel, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of the upcoming video. Turn on the notification and check out the link in the description. See you next week.